Sagittarius, what's up, babies? What's up, Sag? This is your January love reading. Thank you so much for tuning in, for rocking with me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Britt, okay? You could call me BB. My name is Brittany, all right? How you guys doing? How's everybody doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You made it out of 2020. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourselves a round of applause, okay? Because 2020 was one hell of a year, wasn't it? All right, so happy new year, 2021. Let's see what has in store for you regarding love, Sag. This is your love reading for the month of January. I'm going to do singles messages first, then couples. And then after that, I'm going to go down the list of the Zodiac from Aries through Pisces. Listen out for the sign that you are currently interested in, okay? Aries through Pisces at the end of the singles and the couples messages. All right. All the information for where you can find me to reach out for a personal and private reading will be found in the description box below. You guys can email me or you can reach out to me via Instagram, okay? Keep in mind that these readings are not gender specific. These are not personal readings. So these readings are not gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. So don't get too caught up on the pronouns that I may use. If I say he and it's a she, just flip it as you see fit. All right. Sounds good. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I do pick up on multiple storylines. So everything that I say is not going to resonate with you. And it's almost impossible for me to you know, reach every Sagittarius to pick up on every story, okay? To pick up on every Sagittarius that's out there. So I hope that I, you know, resonate for you guys. I really do. That is the goal. But if I don't, also make sure to check out your moon, your Venus, and your rising videos as well, okay? So these messages can resonate for Sagittarius sun, of course, Sagittarius moon, Venus and rising. All right, cool. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it. Everyone is welcome here. Same sex relationships are welcomed as well. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay, apply the roles as you see fit. If I say it one way and you feel like it resonates, but it's the other way around, just flip it. Okay, flip the roles. The roles are interchangeable. Genders are neutral. These are not gender specific. All right, so Sagittarius singles, you up first, baby. Let's see what the month of January has in store for you, Sag singles. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius singles in the month of January 2021? Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius singles in the month of January 2021? Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius singles? What messages do you have for Sagittarius singles 2021? January. Mm, Sagittarius singles. What love messages do you have for them, Spirit? The month of January. Sagittarius singles. All right. And we are using the Deviant Moon Tarot for anybody that is wondering. Justice card is out. You could be dealing with a Libra, okay? I also got Pisces here. I got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well. I have the Two of Cups here. So you want a relationship with this person, Sag. Strong Libra energy. I got Libra here again. Also could be a Taurus with this Empress card. The Empress is Libra and Taurus, okay? But, Sag, I feel like you want a family with this person, okay? You want the Two of Cups. You want to establish a relationship with this person. So this is somebody that you are very interested in, Sag. I feel like you are interested in this person, especially if they're a Libra or a Taurus. I feel like you just view this person as someone that is like the apple of your eye, okay? You see this person as someone that's very beautiful. I feel like you two have some history, too. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, I feel like you two know each other for, you've known each other for a while. Okay, you may not have dated necessarily, but I just feel like this is someone that you've known for a while, Sag. What was that? Okay. Some Sagittarius out there, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, okay, with this King of Swords energy. But I feel like Sagittarius singles, this person may have an offer for you, but, you know, you view this person as someone that's immature. This person could also be a Leo, okay? But this is someone that you have a karmic cycle with, okay? This is a karmic partner, um, Sag. So this person that's trying to return from the past, this is a whole nother storyline I'm getting. So 
Forget about this Libra for a second that you want a relationship with. I'm seeing for some of you Sagittarius singles out there that there's a Gemini, Libra, or, or an Aquarius that is a karmic partner. And they're coming back towards you because something didn't work out between them and someone else. So, Sag, it's, it, it, seem, it seems like this person went to go pursue someone else and go play with somebody else. That shit didn't work out the way that they thought it would. And so now they circling back to, you know, see what you up to. Fuck that. If you ask me, Sag, if you ask me, fuck that. Okay, that person didn't want them. So now they trying to spin the block and see what you up to. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, two of pentacles reversed. They was juggling and shit and that shit didn't work out with the other person. So now they making their way towards you. All right, yeah, Sag, I feel like you don't really want this. You thinking about it. Okay, but you don't really want this. Sagittarius, you showing up as a temperance, okay, in the upright. So, baby, you and your power, okay. And for those of you that want this two of cups relationship with this Libra or this Taurus person, okay. I also have Aquarius here, too. I feel like you want to work together with this person. You view this person as someone that's very successful, very beautiful. You're very attracted to this person. I also feel like you don't want to fuck it up, Sag. So you don't want to be impulsive and fuck it up. I feel like you walk on eggshells around this person. This person may have a little temper on them. They could be really snappy at times. Yeah, especially if this is a Libra because I got strong Libra energy here. Y'all know them Libras be snapping, right? Them Libras be going to fuck off. But I do have the judgment card here too. Okay, let me clarify all of this. Sag, I feel like you okay. You know, you get nervous around this person. This person gives you butterflies. You get nervous around them. Yeah, I have the four of wands here and I have the hierophant. So I see a commitment here, a relationship forming and blossoming. So Sagittarius singles, I feel like you won't be single for long, especially for those of you that is dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or even an Aquarius. I feel like you won't be single for long. Yeah, I see a lot of... um. This is actually looking really good, Sag. I see a lot of passion between you two, a lot of attraction, Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning, a new offer, a fresh start. So Sagittarius singles, you won't be single for long, okay? But for those of you who have this past person, this air sign, okay? This Gemini, this other Libra on Aquarius that's returning from the past, and they was juggling you and they, you know, shit didn't work out with the other person that they was talking to. Now they want to come back towards you. I don't feel like you should entertain that person. Okay, but I do see a new relationship blossoming for you with a Libra, an Aquarius, okay, or a Taurus, all right, or somebody with those placements heavily in their chart. You'll know exactly who I'm talking about. It's the person that you're extremely attracted to, and you get butterflies uh, with. You just get nervous around them. I'm also hearing that this person smells really good. So when you're around them, I just feel like you get butterflies, you get nervous around them, and you can smell them. Like, their their scent is really nice. This could be their natural pheromones or, like, just the cologne, the fragrance that they choose to wear, the perfume that they wear. This person smells really good. I just feel like you, like, into like it's intoxicating is what I'm hearing. All right. Sagittarius couples, you up next. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius couples in the month of January? Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius couples in the month of January? January 2021, Sagittarius in relationships. What love messages do you have for the Sagittarius that are in relationships in the month of January 2021? Sagittarius in relationships. Justice card is here again. So some of you are dealing with a Libra. Okay. I see a new cycle starting between you and this person. All right. After some time apart, you two don't want to let go. You don't want to release one another. You could also be dealing with a Taurus, an Aries, or a Scorpio. I also have Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like at one point this person blocked you or said you blocked them. But now you two are um, getting back together. Okay. So now you two are in a relationship. I feel like in the past someone blocked the other person. But now you two are together. Okay. Let's see what else is happening for you two. Be careful, though. I feel like there's a little codependency here between you two. Someone here doesn't work is what I'm feeling. I'm seeing here that someone here probably doesn't work and the other person provides for them financially. Okay. I also have Libra energy showing up again with this Queen of Swords energy. If you're dealing with a Libra, Sag, your partner's a Libra, I feel like they don't really trust you. 
or they can't be trusted. Someone here is showing up as a liar. They lie a little bit. Okay, I do have the sun reverse too, which is also pointing out to some unhappiness. Spirit, please clarify the sun reverse for Sagittarius couples. Yeah, two of cups reverse, page of cups reverse, and the five of wands. So Sagittarius uh, in, in relationships, I feel like you two are having some communication issues in the month of January. You're feeling like this connection is imbalanced. There's a lack of reciprocity. Sag, you may feel like you put in more effort than this person, or your partner may feel like they put in more effort than you. But I feel like this is what's causing conflict between you two because someone feels like they being dealt a short hand. They feel like, you know, they're getting a the shorter end of the stick. Like, yo, I do so much for you and you don't even appreciate me. Okay. Sagittarius, I feel like if you are dealing with this Libra, okay, they are turning cold. Okay. They are withholding communication from you. Could also be in a relationship with an Aquarius. I feel like this person is doing the same. I also feel like they're going to stop giving to you. I also feel like your partner kind of treats you like a fucking kid. Okay. So they feel like because they support you financially, that they could just talk to you any way that they fucking want. That's wrong, right? Yeah, some of you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Taurus as well. Your partner could be a Cancer or a Taurus or have these placements strong in their chart. This person is not expressing how they feel about you. They coming across as someone that's a little emotionally unavailable or emotionally immature. Okay, yeah, I see here that they don't really use their words. They don't know how to express themselves. And it's irritating the fuck out of you, Sag. You're like, yo, would you just tell me how you feel? Would you speak up? You have no problem in the bedroom. I feel like this person is a fucking performer in the bedroom. But when it comes down to actually talking about problems and communicating with one another, they quiet. You know, they talk all that shit in the bedroom. They be throwing, they be putting it down. But when it's time to actually, you know, communicate outside the fucking bedroom, they, they get quiet. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like this relationship has really put you through a lot. You're a very strong person is what I'm seeing here. This person has put you through a lot. They're very secretive. You could be dealing with a Pisces. I do have the Ace of Pentacles for you, Sag. So I feel like your partner wants to work on this. They don't want to give up. Yeah, death reverse. They don't want this to end. They're still holding on to you. I feel like your partner is clinging on to you, Sag. It'll be up to you whether or not you want to give to this connection, okay? It really would be up to you. I feel like the ball is in your court, baby, okay? The ball is in your court, Sag. It'll be up to you if you want to let this person back in. But I feel like for some of you, you may make the decision not to because you just don't trust them too much has already happened, okay? Could be dealing with a Taurus is what I'm hearing. This Taurus did you dirty. All right, going down the list from Aries to Pisces. So Sag, you dealing with an Aries in the month of January. What's going on with that? Sagittarius dealing with Aries in the month of January, Spirit. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius that are dealing with Aries in the month of January? Sagittarius that are dealing with Aries in the month of January. January 2021. Sag and Aries. Okay. <sighs> mm. Somebody here is insecure. Okay. Somebody here is insecure. I also feel like, yeah, someone here is insecure and spies on the other person. They don't really trust them. So Sagittarius, this could be you, or Aries, this could be you. One of you is insecure and spy on the other person. You don't really trust one another. I see here that you two need to talk about this, okay? You guys need to talk about this fast. I feel like the communication needs to happen fast, all right? Divine timing is at play here. So what's going on with this? Divine timing is at play, okay? You two are losing faith in this connection. So Sagittarius, I feel like you losing faith in this Aries. You don't really know if this relationship could stand the test of time. You view this person as someone that's sneaky and manipulative. You also feel like they selfish is what I'm seeing here. And I feel like some secrets are being revealed to you about this person in the month of January that they've been showing attention to a past person. They've been communicating with a past person. And this is really upsetting you. Yeah, they showing up as somebody. I, yo, this card gets me every time. This motherfucker think they so slick. They think they just so slick, right? So Sagittarius, you feel like this Aries just think they so fucking slick. Or well, this Aries feel this way about you. But I really feel like it's the Aries that's acting like they so slick. Because Aries, you just fell right on out as the full reverse. 
So you acting like a goddamn fool, Aries. You in a reverse. I feel like you being very immature right now. You really just being selfish, very self-serving. And you hurting this edge. Don't do that. Y'all need to get it together. Y'all need to communicate. All right. Y'all need to communicate y'all feelings. I just saw the two of cups. So I feel like Sagittarius and Aries, there is some hope for you too, okay? But y'all need to communicate. Aries, you need to stop showing your ass. All right, Sagittarius, you dealing with a Taurus. Sagittarius and Taurus connections in the month of January. Sagittarius that are dealing with Taurus. What's going on with Sag and Taurus in the month of January 2021? Sag and Taurus. Sag and Taurus. Communication coming in very quickly. Someone has said, fine, I could rest easy. I feel like this could be the mother of your child, the father of your child. You two may have a child together is what I'm seeing here, okay? I feel like there's someone here is being taken for child support or somebody here got to pay up, okay? Yeah. And now you two are having issues. So I feel like someone here is upset because the, their, um, the mother of their child is putting them on child support or she's asking for money for the child. I feel like the other person is upset about this and they lying to other people and gossiping and shit. I just feel like there's a lot of drama here regarding money and a child and being able to take care of a child. Yeah, I do have the Ace of Cups here and the Lover's card. So, Sag and Taurus, okay, for some of you, I do feel like you're realizing that you two actually are soulmates, you belong together. But I actually do see here that there was a tower moment, so there was an ending and a separation because somebody still wanted to be a player. They wanted to fuck around. They wanted to fuck other people, okay? And that's what happened. They, they broke up their family, okay? So for some of you, you still do have children with this person. I'm seeing a family situation here was ruined, okay? There was a lot of unhappiness here because somebody was playing games. Somebody had a third party and was cheating and they ruined that shit. And now they want to come back in and they want their family back. So Sag, you want your family back, okay? Or this uh, Taurus want their family back after really like fucking things up in the past. They cheated on you. And I feel like you just had a baby too. I feel like you, some of you just had a baby by this person. And they put you through so much shit while you was pregnant and after you gave birth. And now they want back in. They want their family back. Sagittarius, you dealing with a Gemini. Sagittarius and Gemini connections in the month of January. Sagittarius dealing with Gemini's January 2021. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Sagittarius and Gemini connections in the month of January? Sagittarius and Gemini. Okay. Strength reverse, Leo energy. Somebody here can have Leo in their chart, but either way, I just feel like this relationship is draining. I have the tower card here. This is an ending. Someone here lies too much, and you two don't communicate very well. So this is over. That shit was straight to the point. This shit is over is what I'm seeing. Somebody here lied too damn much. All right. Sagittarius, you dealing with a cancer? Sagittarius dealing with cancers in the month of January. Sagittarius and cancer connections, January 2021. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius that are dealing with cancers in the month of January? Sagittarius dealing with cancers in the month of January. Sag, you're dealing with a cancer. Okay, we have the justice card here, Libra energy. Somebody can have strong Libra in their chart, whether that you be you, Sag, or it's Cancer. I do have the lovers reverse. You two are soulmates, but I just feel like you guys are just not getting it right, okay? Someone here is too detached. I feel like it's the Cancer. The Cancer is in their shell, okay? They're not really revealing themselves. Sag, you want to commit to this person. I have the Two of Cups and the Hierophant, so you want to commit to this Cancer. There's a lot of love here between you two, but I also feel like someone here is unhappy, okay? Cancer, you could be on the cusp of Leo is what I heard. So Sag, you could be dealing with a Cancer that is um a Leo, a Cancer, a Cancer Leo cusp. Okay. I have the four of wands reversed though. So I feel like this Cancer was your wish fulfillment. Okay. But now it's in a reverse. 
okay you guys are not getting along cancer here you are showing up as the chariot okay and sad you showing up as the queen of wands all right and then i have the tower card here you two need to talk about this because if you don't talk about this i see an ending happening okay but i feel like with the tower card that ending is kind of inevitable this ending is happening anyway i do have the lovers reverse which is also a choice being made to no longer give into this and then i have the emperor reverse okay so Sagittarius, you losing faith in this connection with this cancer. And this cancer could be coming up as somebody that's very controlling or the cancer could feel this way about you that you're very controlling. All right. I also see here that somebody wants to get pregnant. All right. So Sagittarius, you want to have the baby by a cancer or this cancer wants you to have their baby. All right. You feel like a baby would make you happier, would make you too happier. It would save the relationship. I actually feel like it won't. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it won't. Somebody here is very dependent on the other person too, like emotionally dependent. I'm picking up on this codependency here. So it's an unhealthy bond between you two, Sagittarius and Cancer. This is, you two are soulmates, but it's a help. It's an unhealthy soulmate connection. You guys know we all have soulmates that are positive and negative that teach us lessons. They all here to teach us lessons. Orbs are flying around. All right, but yeah. Okay, Sagittarius, you're dealing with a Leo. Sagittarius, you're dealing with a Leo, baby. In the month of January, January 2021, Sagittarius and Leo connections. Sagittarius and Leo. Spirit, what messages do you have for the star sign of Sagittarius that are dealing with Leos? January 2021. All right, you two need to talk. Okay, I see here that someone is in expressing their feelings. Very closed door, very detached, very guarded, very secretive. Somebody here is very mysterious. Leo, here you are showing up as the sun reverse. So you unhappy about this connection with this Sag. You feel like this Sagittarius is just applying too much pressure. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. You feel like this Sag is applying too much pressure. You like, yo, chill. Yeah, I got the Six of Wands reversed too. So I feel like you backing up. You, you're not really showing this person any attention. You like, yo, let me just, let me try to control this situation. So Leo, I feel like you're trying to control this situation. You're trying to control how things go with this Sag because this Sag is just wild and you feel like they doing a lot. You like, yo, relax. Like, I just feel like they bugging you. And I don't really, yeah, I don't really see you have an offer here for them. Yeah, the love is reverse. I don't really feel like you have an offer for this person because you just feel like they're doing too much. All right. Sagittarius and Virgo, you up next. Sagittarius dealing with Virgos, January 2021. Sag, you dealing with a Virgo. What's going on between you and this Virgo? Sagittarius dealing with Virgo, January 2021. Sagittarius and Virgo connections. Spirit, what messages do you have for the star sign of Sagittarius dealing with Virgos? Sagittarius dealing with Virgos, January 2021. Spirit, what messages do you have for the star sign of Sag that is currently dealing with a Virgo in the month of January? Sagittarius and Virgo. I have the strength reverse here. Popped on up. Okay. Someone here is stingy holding on to their coins. Okay. I feel like it's the Virgo. Virgo feels like you a user, Sag. They feel like you're using them for their money, possibly. I also see here that someone is not paying the other person any money. They're not paying them no attention. I do have the death card in reverse too. So I feel like you guys are on the verge of separating or you two have already separated, but someone here is still clinging on to this. Okay. I do have the five of wands reverse too. So this is also telling me that you two were fighting a lot in the past. I feel like you were fighting about money and I have the four of wands reverse. So this is a separation. This is a divorce, a breakup. Okay. I see here that a lot, of, a lot of you have past history with this child. You could have a family with this child, okay? I see here that some of you, you share a child with this person or children, multiple children, okay? But I do feel like there was some toxic energy here, some codependency. The devil reversed. The two of cups reversed. This was an imbalanced connection. There was also an injustice that was done here, okay? I feel like this has to do with a third party. Yeah, a third party could have been a Gemini is what I'm seeing here. And uh, you two separated. Someone created distance, okay? Someone here um 
relocated and traveled away from this. So if you two live together, I feel like someone is moving out in the month of January if they haven't already. <sighs> Who was that? That was Sagittarius and Virgo, right? Okay. Sagittarius, you dealing with a Libra. Sagittarius and Libra connections, January 2021. Spare, what messages do you have for the star sign of Sagittarius that are dealing with Libras? Sagittarius dealing with Libras. Libra kept showing up in your read, Sag, so let's see. Sagittarius dealing with Libras. Okay, yeah, you two have known each other for a long time. I'm seeing years on, years on in here. You guys known each other for years. I see a new cycle here between you two. I see a reconciliation. There's a lot of passion here between you and this Libra Sag. I feel like you guys are very passionate. You guys have a good time in bed is really what I'm feeling and seeing here. Okay, I also see someone here is trying to, you know, bribe the other person like, oh, you know, Let's 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 talk about this. Let's go out, you know, for some coffee. Let's talk. What's going on? How was the kids Christmas? Do you need anything? Your bills is paid. You okay? I also feel like sad you could be spying on this Libra or this Libra could be spying on you. Okay? I feel like you spying on a Libra, especially the way Libra just came out as the Queen of Swords right there. So sad you you spying on this Libra and this Libra is like, what the fuck you want? I feel like Libra is very de defensive. Okay, they they defensive right now towards you, Sash, because they don't really trust you. They don't really trust you. They said your dick is too good. That's what they said. So Libra feel like you just is too good. They like I know you out here giving it to other people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The King of Wands reverse. Yes, exactly. I know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. This Libra feels like you out here just you know giving it to other people the way you gave it to them. You like, yo, you out here giving it up the way you gave it to me. Yeah, the love is reverse. Okay, so I feel like there's a separation here between you two. But some of you, I feel like y'all not even in a fucking relationship. This is more of like an entanglement, okay, a friends with benefits situation. But I'm seeing here that Libra is coming out again, Queen of Swords and a Justice card. I feel like the Libra is very jealous, Sag. They very jealous. They don't want you out here giving away their love. Don't take your love away. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Baby, don't take your love away from me. I need you. Yeah. This Libra is jealous. They jealous. They jealous. They said, you better not be out here giving it to them the way you give it to me. <laughs> they said, be careful with them. Be careful with me. My heart's like a pen, my vagina, play my own, be careful with me. Cardi is a Libra, and she's married to a Sag. Now that I'm thinking about it, Cardi B is definitely a Libra. She's like two days before me, and Offset is a Sag. So and you know what's going on with Cardi and Offset. We all know what's going on with them. Offset can't keep his motherfucking dick in his pants. So yeah, Cardi, I'm talking about y'all shit. Mm-hmm. You don't trust this sad. You feel like they out here giving their love away. Giving that loving away. Sagittarius got that good shit and you feel like they out here giving it away. They giving a beefcake away. <laughs> oh, I hate when Jocelyn say that shit. Beefcake. Sounds so gross, right? All right. Sagittarius, you're dealing with a Scorpio. Sagittarius and Scorpio connections, January 2021. Spare, what messages do you have for the Sagittarius and Scorpio connections in the month of January? Sag, dealing with a Scorp. Okay, somebody here is giving up. They put their hands up. They said, I'll, I'll give, I give up. Yeah, I see block communication here. Little to no communication. You could be ignoring one another. I have the lovers reverse here too. And someone here is very sad, very hurt, and feels betrayed. Straight to the point. Sagittarius and uh, Scorpio, it's a done motherfucking deal. All right, so Sagittarius, you're dealing with a Capricorn. 
No, Sagittarius is dealing with another Sag. I'm sorry, Sag. I skipped your sign, baby. So Sagittarius is dealing with other Sagittarius. Sagittarius and Sagittarius connections. Spirit, what messages do you have for the star sign of Sag that is currently dealing with another Sag like themselves in the month of January, January 2021? Sagittarius is dealing with other Sagittarius. Okay, Sag, how you doing, baby? First call L. Sag, I'm so happy to see that you decided to arrive. Okay, I also got the Queen of Swords here. So you can have some Libra in your chart. You can have like a Libra rising or a Libra moon. All right. But Sag, I feel like you cutting this person off because they betrayed you. You don't trust them. I see you closing off your heart space towards this person. I'm also seeing here that somebody wants to return. So Sag, the other Sag wants to return. Okay, but I just feel like it's not going to work because somebody here is still juggling. So you guys are not committing to one another. There's another party here. Three's the crowd is what I just heard. Somebody here is very manipulative. All right. Could have Gemini moon is what I heard. All right. So, Sagittarius, you're dealing with a Capricorn. Sagittarius and Capricorn connections in the month of January 2021. Spirit, what messages do you have for the star sign of Sagittarius that are dealing with Capricorns? Sag, you're dealing with a motherfucking Cap. Ooh, we got the Four of Wands. Okay, we got the Four of Wands. We got the Queen of Cups. So someone here is in love. Okay. Someone here is in love. They professing their love. I feel like a lot of you are going to get married is what I'm seeing here. I see a courtroom. Okay, I got the Four of Wands here. You deciding to elope. All right. Yeah, I feel like you guys are in love. Sagittarius and Capricorn, y'all in love, okay? But I'm also seeing here that you two fight a lot. So it's like, or you two could already be married and you feel like you made the wrong fucking decision because now all y'all doing is actually fighting. Y'all fighting about money, fighting about a lack of sex or somebody sexting somebody else. You feel like this person is sexting a, a Pisces or a, a Cancer if, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If this person is stepping out on you, Sag, or Sag, you stepping out on this, um, this Capricorn, I feel like that shit is coming to the light. Somebody here about to get caught up. So Capricorn, if it's you, I feel like you definitely about to get caught slipping is what I'm seeing. So, ooh, that just took a turn, okay? That just took a turn. I got all excited about the justice and the four of wands and shit. I'm seeing y'all fucking up. Y'all fucking up y'all new marriage, y'all new, you know, relationship that y'all established. <sighs> Sagittarius, you dealing with an Aquarius, baby? What's going on between you and this Aquarius? Sag and Aquarius. Sagittarius dealing with Aquarius, January 2021. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius and Aquarius connections in the month of January? Sag and Aquarius, y'all usually in love. Y'all love birds, for real. But I do have some disappointment here. But you two are trying to work things out, okay? Sagittarius, I feel like you disappointed in this Aquarius. Aquarius, here you are showing up as the star card. But Aquarius, I feel like you working hard to appease this Sag. You want to make sure that this connection works. You two just moved into a new home together is what I'm seeing here. And you want to make sure that this works. So Sagittarius, Aquarius is very in love with you. And they said they want to make this work. Okay, I do have the Four of Wands here too as well. So you two could be married or just... Um, got engaged or some shit like that but i do feel like there's a higher form of commitment being established here between you two so the aquarius is gonna make it right sag i know you're a little disappointed with aquarius right now but they're gonna make it right they said they want you to be their wife so they said let's get married baby let's get married and i've done it all Come on, won't you be my lady? I'm 
I'm smacked. <laughs> oh, the Sagittarius, you dealing with a Pisces? Sagittarius and Pisces, last but not least. Sagittarius dealing with Pisces, January 2021. Spare, what messages do you have for the star sign of Sagittarius dealing with Pisces? Ooh, that shuffle felt the fuck good. All right. Communication. You two could have shared a home together. There's unhappiness in the home. Pisces, here you are. Pisces showing up as the moon reverse. Pisces, you off track. You in balance. The Sagittarius got you fucked up. Sag, here you are. You showing up in the upright. So Sagittarius, I feel like you got the upper hand in this situation. This Pisces is all over the fucking place. Okay, but I see here that this connection is a burden. Okay, there's no commitment here. There's some instability. Someone here is not committed. I'm sure it's probably the Pisces. All right, <laughs> let me stop. I be dragging Pisces. I need to stop that shit. That's not nice, right? But someone here is very selfish and very immature, okay? So, Sag, this could be you or Pisces. This could be you, okay? But I feel like someone here has, has a third party. Someone here is cheating and breaking up their family, fucking up their happy home, okay? They got a mistress, okay? They got a side joint. And you two have a home together, could have children together as well. But you out here doing your partner dirty. All right, Sagittarius. That was your love reading for January 2021. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed these messages, okay? Drop a comment, all right? Talk to me, socialize. I respond back. All right, be social, be friendly, Sag. I love you guys so, so much. I hope that the month of January is good to you. I actually hope that all of 2021 is good to you, Sag. Till next time, I love you guys. Bye.